morning everybody, Dan Upshulty with Utility Keystone Trailers. We're here to talk about flatbeds today. There's three main different types, the aluminum, the combo, and the steel. Looking forward to going over it with you. Whether you're new to the game or looking to upgrade to a new flatbed, we're here to talk. So there's three main different types of flatbeds and a lot of what depends on what you want out of them is going to depend on which one's right for you. Are you looking for something that's flashy? Maybe you go with an aluminum. Do you want something to go to work? Maybe you're looking at a combo. If you need something that's heavy duty, steel could be right for you. Also a lot depends on where you're hauling, what you're hauling, and ultimately how long you're holding onto the trailers. First up, we have our aluminum flatbed here. This is a 2021 Mac, one of our high spec stock units. Something to consider, uh, these trailers are highly customizable. Basically, anything you want, we could get it done. Additional lights, suspension hangers, lift axles, things like that. Some things to consider with aluminum. It's gonna be one of your lightest options. Aluminum is a lighter metal, uh, so it's gonna be lighter than your steel or combination trailer. Additionally, you have to look at cost. It is gonna cost a little bit more. However, on the back end, there is additional resale value. So something to keep in mind. So we talked about customization. Here's one of our aluminum flatbeds that we have customized. You can see the full, filled in rear end, additional light package. This has aluminum wheels, does have a lift axle, two nailers, J-hook tracks for load securement. You're gonna have a lot more options with length, width, you name it you can do it on an aluminum flatbed. Here's some other things to consider about an aluminum flatbed. Because it's comprised specifically of aluminum, it's gonna have more deflection in the beam. So you're gonna have more of an arch in the trailer. Additionally, considering that, the cross members need to be closer together in order to support the additional weight because that aluminum deflects. So aluminum is gonna hold up better to the elements up north. You're not gonna have issues with rust, but some things you can have issues with is dissimilar metals together corroding. What we did here with this one, we upgraded with galvanized suspension hangers. Also, something to consider, as these trailers age, you can deal with some cracking due to the stress of that flexing of the aluminum. So especially in the suspension hanger area, you wanna keep an eye out for that. All right, next up we have our combo trailer. This right here is a 2020 utility 4000 ae what makes it a combo trailer glad you ask it has the steel beam here aluminum cross members aluminum floor and aluminum side rail so you're going to have the weight savings of the aluminum yet the strength of the steel beam this particular model the 4000 ae competes directly with aluminum flatbeds weighing in at 8800 pounds some things to consider with this uh, it's going to be a cheaper option compared to aluminum a little more expensive than steel, but you are getting the weight savings. So here's the beam on a combo trailer. As you can see, steel construction, suspension hangers are steel as well. So you're not gonna have issues with dissimilar metals corroding. One thing to consider though, if you are running in the Northeast, steel is more prone to rust. It's gonna rust, your aluminum trailer is not. So there's some things to get around that, keep your trailer clean. Additionally, this beam has less camber in it. Steel does not deflect as much as aluminum, so it's gonna be a flatter trailer. Can help sometimes if you're looking to put on a kit, or also, depending on what you're hauling, if it's a light load, could be easier to load. You don't need that weight to sort of load that beam. Next up, we have your all steel flatbed. So this trailer is going to weigh more than the other options because of the steel construction. Your beam, your side rail, your suspension hangers, everything's gonna be made out of steel, which is a heavier trailer. On the flip side, this is gonna cost less, so it's gonna be less of an initial upfront investment. On the real resale side, you're probably not gonna get as much on the resale end, but it is built to last, and it's gonna be a good work trailer for you. So we talked about the steel flatbed and how it has the steel rails. With that, you're gonna have a wood floor the length of the trailer. So there are some positives to that. You're gonna have a lot more options as far as load securement, as far as where you can nail, where you can screw down on this trailer. Your options are almost unlimited. One of the downsides to it, eventually this wood is gonna rot and it's something you're gonna to need to replace. So keep that in mind. If you found this video helpful, make sure you follow us on our social media channels, like and subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I'm Dan Upsholdy. thanks for watching.